Hello, good evening, Nani, and welcome to another exciting moment of investment education, investment information, stock market analysis, and empowerment. Today's program is such that you cannot afford to miss just a second from. Because from the beginning to the end, it promises to be, it promises to be all analytical. Why? In the course of last week, there were lots and lots of auditor reports, particularly those that came with dividend, uh, of all the uh, profitable banks listed on the NGX. If I'm not mistaken, maybe one or two access and first bank that we are still waiting for. All the rest had brought their result, particularly in the course of last week. And you can trust us. We are going to do justice to that. And what we are going to be doing is to do a comparative analysis putting um, UBA and GTCO and um, and uh, and uh, and the Zenit together. We are not even the one that will ultimately tell you the one that is better. You will be able to see yourself because Aruna Kibera is here. He will always say, "Figures have no emotion. Figures don't lie." And so. Today, please, you will help me. I beg of you, okay? Call a friend, call a family member, call somebody you've been talking to, to come and invest in the stock market, to tune in to this program right away. And when eventually we begin to post them on our social media please, our platforms, please also ensure that you help us to distribute this information why do we have to if you have the information if you have the uh, assistance of malam garba kofi that we have here and if you have the assistance of aruna kibira that we have here and they are always available to advise you to guide you to lead you on what equity to invest in the course of the month of february you will soon see when we begin to do monthly um a recap of all that happened on the NGX for February, you will see the percentage gains that some equity recorded relative to um, the slow uh, uh, percentage losses that uh, the market saw in the month of February. And these are the kind of gains you get without having to carry, without having to sweat. You don't need traffic to, to, to beat traffic. You don't need any form of stress. You just need to build, to climb on the back of those who have experience. While you are learning, you are falling through on what we do. You are falling through on data analysis. But again, there are people that have been there 30 years, 20 years, 15 years, 16 years. You can ride on their experiences to get the best. Of course, once in a while, you lose money. Yes, that is the gospel truth. There are times that Aruna may say, buy this stock. And you expect the price to go up. And the price doesn't go up as at that point in time. You wait. There are times that Malam might tell you that buy this stock. He expects the price to go up. And as a matter of fact, the price might even decline. You still wait. All right? So once in a while, you lose, but likely you gain. That is why... I'm so passionate about this market because this is what I've done for over 30 years. I've made money, I've lost money, I'm still in need. And again, I've done some other things. And I've seen that making money in the stock market is relatively better. This is a platform whereby you can build resources, you can build your retirement around. I relate with old men that have been in the market for 30 years and more. And today, where they draw their retirement income from is equity. And that is why you cannot afford to just keep your fingers crossed or your arms folded. And you are looking why people are making money and yet you are complaining. Buhari government is not good. Governor Sawodo is not good. Or whatever. If Jesus Christ comes to rule this economy, that is the way you will complain. If uh, 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 Mohammed comes to rule this economy, that is how you will complain. All right, the opportunities are there. You don't need you don't need Buhari, you don't need Governor Sawonu to invest in this market. You see, the, the, the managers of Lagos Television has made this platform available. Let us make the best use of it. I think I've said enough. I <laughs> will go on a short break. When I return, we we'll go straight to empowering you with the best of information possible. 
as far as the equity market is concerned in this economy. I will be right back. While um, uh, you are, you are, uh, the advert is on, please take the time to invite those that need to be invited. God bless you as you do so. Some dreams are big. Some dreams are small. Some dream to go from place to place. Dreams of love and ever after. Dreams and sacrifices that build the future. Whatever the dream or step or journey, you can do more with a partner that cares about your dreams. Access more than banking. Welcome back. Let me first introduce to you and please join me in welcoming Malam Garra Kurofi, the Managing Director, APT Securities and Funds Limited, a, lines, a training license holder of the NGS, being a good student. Malam, good evening to you. I'm happy to be with you. All right, Abna Kibira is also here, the man that believes that figures <laughs> don't have emotion, okay, is also the Managing Director of Global View Capital Limited. Also, a trading license holder of the NGS. Aruna, you're welcome. Good evening. Okay, we go straight to um, what we uh, know how to do. NNPC cancels Exxon Mobil's 1.6 billion era asset sale to Seplat, according to information that emerged in the course of last week. The state owned NNPC has notified Mobile Producing Nigeria Unlimited of its intention to exercise a right of preemption on mobile ExxonMobil's planned sale of its entire asset in Nigeria's onshore and shallow waters. Seplat Energy staked, staked $1.583 billion for the deals to acquire the entire share capital of MPNU plus contingent consideration, noting that the asset transfer will wait for the minister's Ascent. This means that the state-owned oil farm was not, based on its exercise of, it, of the right of first refusal, pay below $1.583 billion mark. Other information seems to favor ministerial consent for CEPLAT to scale through. But according to the latest information that I were able to gather before we entered the studio as we speak now, a meeting has been fixed between NNPC ExxonMobil and probably Seplat to resolve their differences on March 17, 2022. So I put the first question to Mala. What is the current stance of Seplat? Because again, to me, we, are, we are Nigerians. We know how me, things work. To me, there. this transaction is going to scale through. Okay. I see NNVC is just making noise <laughs> because this is not the first time. We remember when Ondo acquired the same <laughs> production because NNPC has an original agreement that you control 60%. It's a joint venture. Mobile is not only mobile and NNPC. There is other partners. Why the other partners did not ask for preempty rights? The other partners keep quiet because there is no business in this business. It was a done deal. But the only issue that is outstanding is the ministerial approval. And until and, and except that ministerial approval is over, it's not yet over. Madam, let me, let me ask you this, this question. This is Nigeria. How is it, do you think that they will be able to get the ministerial assent? Look, let me tell you. The others have done it. This is not the first time. Uh, uh, Sublet was in the similar transaction before this one. The ministerial approval, they always look at it. Was there a fair deal? Is it more in favor of the Nigerians? Seplat is more of Nigerians. So why do you deny Nigerian? And if you see you have 60% of this one, it's enough for you. Even if you decided to sell for NFC, where will they get the money to pay it? 
<laughs> Remember, it's a limited company. <laughs> okay. So the truth of the matter that is just they make a noise because they need to make it. But the truth of the matter that this transaction is going to work in favor of Sablat and I see Sablat winning it. First and foremost, Sablat is more of Nigerians. Secondly, they have been successful in the transaction that they were before. Sadly, they have a dual listing. They are listed in London. They are listed in, in Nigeria. So they can even go to London market and get this money. Okay. Uh, uh, Arana, let me put this question to you. You know, now, um, the kind of, uh, there's a difference between when an announcement is made and we could see that there will not be any clog on the wheel of progress of the potentially um, profitable transaction, to such, so to speak. But in this case, there are two major issues here. Like Malam has opined, NNPC might not necessarily have anything much to do with this. Let us assume that ultimately that NNPC's opinion or stance is defeated. All right, and let us also look at it that the ministerial assent we are talking about might come, it might not come. This is Nigeria. Okay, so what is the risk that you think? Because you see, many people will have jumped into Seplat. So, what is the risk that you think that investors in the market are currently holding? Anyway, to first of all, answer that way. I think I will say. Uh, I will not say that uh, NNPC are making noise because agreement is an agreement. If what they are saying is contained in the joint agreement, that they have the first right of refusal, I think it will stand any day. But peradventure that they come out and they win this case and the, the sale did not go to Seplat, the same way people jump in. That is the same way people will jump out. But and with, with a loss, most probably. I believe you mean, even this one that is even uh, this information, uh, by by Monday, we make some people because I come to understand that since uh, the murder of 2006, a number of people don't want to wait for the effect of in, any news, whether bad or whether negative. The moment they do, is they want to exit and stay on the sidewalk, and that is exactly what I'll be what we'll be seeing on Monday. So, so, Malam, with this kind of thing, let me tell you why I'm asking this question. Yes. When Konoko Phillips and Oando came. The price was jumping on the floor of the stock exchange. And I bought, if you recall, I bought Oando through you. And sorry for saying, <laughs> yes. you, were not, you weren't the one that asked me to buy. I was the one that said, Oh, yeah, Mala, let me buy. All right? And I called Mrs. Bola Tito Akinyemi. Mrs. Bola Tito Akinyemi trades the stock market actively now. And uh, she is a retiree of First Bank. I said, Mrs. Akemi, I'm going to have about this news. Are you not going to buy? She said she doesn't invest that way. I said, what about this information? It has the capacity of moving um, Oando to any uh, price level. She said, no, she would rather wait for that information to crystallize. Now, fast forward today. Mrs. Akinyemi was right. I was wrong. Because I have to hold on. The price moved down. If I'm not mistaken, I think I bought it for 30-something Naira. The price came down. I now have to buy more and then apply Naira cost averaging down. So what should inform my investment decision? We are not talking about Seplat now. We are just talking investment strategy. Should I jump at information or I should rather wait until the information is crystallized before I move. No. When the information is crystallized, the market is too late for you. Mm. My advice, take this advantage and take position. Because once, Seblat is not like ordinary stock, where you can see the price fall anyhow. To trade 100,000 units, how many of the shareholders have 100,000 at one deal? So the price may not go down. That is one. Secondly, don't forget this stock is dual listing. If you see the price trading it in London and the price trading it in Nigeria, you will see that we are grossly underpricing it. So technically, it's already is far below the price that is being traded in the London Stock Exchange. 
and then to project they are into crude oil with this transaction or without it they are already at advantage of the rising of the prices of crude oil so they are going to be better up and, and they pay Mala, in dollars you are not putting it to surplus again i am not yes. looking at surplus anymore but in most looking, of these in, kind in of other transactions words, what you are advising is that i should jump on information yes arena will you advise i jump on information or jump at information whichever way it depends on the the kind, kind of, information of information that is sitting the stock uh, you know one of the things you have to first of all do is to which direction is this information going to uh, what uh, hit i will hit the stock and when this information that came let's take uh, only well and flower me for example uh, it was a good information that uh, only well is uh, uh, flower mill is investing in only well, but nobody nobody knew nobody saw it that uh, Echo Bank will rise. Somebody on um, the lawyer of Echo Bank will rise on their behalf. But I be believe you me, if you do not take advantage of the information when it is hot, if it now crystallizes, you are already late for the market. Hmm. It's a topic I would have wanted us to. I look at it for time. So at our next shareholders meeting, Malam, if you are going to be there, this is what we should discuss extensively, making no use of information for the best of returns in equity market. If you like, you can gather this and say you are charging money and run the program before us. You won't get the kind of quality. I will be talking there, Malam will be talking there. I think it is the third Saturday of this month. Meanwhile, I've not even greeted you up in the month. Happy new month to you. So let's go to the market to see what the market did in the month of February 2022. Ultra index grew 1.65% in the month. Market capitalization also went up, but volume was down 13.67%. Value was down 43.19%. If you look at the number of gainers, 65 in January, 63 uh, in February, they are still within range losers in uh, january was 32 in uh, february 30 uh, no losers in january 31 losers in february 32 still within the same range deals was up well if you look at the way the market is arena to me it is missed so but what was it that brought down the market was actually good if you ask me what was it that brought down the value by 43.19% and volume also? Was it profit taking? Or what? No. Uh, well, the, uh, what I would say is that the tempo that was in, was in January you know, uh, overlapped to February. Okay. One of the things is that if you look at the gainers in yes. January, they are those heavy weights Wait. like uh, uh, Airtel Africa that gain uh, almost 33%, Seplat gain 21.5%, Guinea gain 24.49%. So those were the contribution to the value and the volume for the month of January. We can say that because of uh, uh, the uh, information as, uh, as related to dividend declaration, the tempo was being maintained even in February. In addition to that, there is two major transactions that happened that makes January completely different. Boa. One, Boa put. There wasn't Boa put in a transaction more in February than in January. And over 100 billion transactions done by that. Then the other one, the takeover, the, this uh, reconstruction by the Ongo Testament. So that transaction uh, was done in January. So this single two transaction make the entire difference. If you remove Boa Pud and Angwata's men, you will see that February has done better than even uh, January. Right. And these are what make the difference in terms of volume and value. But in addition to that, the, the beauty of the market that for the first time, January closed positive, February, February closed, closed positive. positive. For the last three to four years, we have not experienced this. And that show there is hope the 2022 okay i put the question to you what uh, should be the expectation we are already in march march have come with the result and the result confirmed that some of these companies are having double digit yield and what it means that if you go to the money market or you go to the bond you are talking of a return per annum now you will get a return within a month so why don't you take advantage of it what is the price of GT, GT Co now? It's giving you two naira seventy kobo. It's trading at twenty six. Are you not better off? What is the price of Venice? And it's giving you two naira eighty kobo. 
Are you not better off? Mm. What is the price of U Cup? It's giving you one era fifty kobo. Are you not better, better off? off? What is the price of U B eight? Name them. It's giving you so eighty kobo. Are you dividend, not better off? So you will see that most of this stock they give you a yield that you cannot get it in the money market. You cannot get it in the bond market. You, the only place you can get it is to take those one and enjoy your dividend. You know you are talking of e dividend. There is no question of Korea. There is no question okay. of missing warrant. So you get a lot as when do. Malam, so my Malam, advice let me ask to the investors, uh, take let me, position now. Let me ask you one question. As our market become purely dividend oriented market, that the only thing we are investing for to make price go up is just dividend. No, yeah. the dividend is giving you the hope. Because you then give dividend out of nothing. Mala, what is, look at what the, is the essence of the dividend? Yes. The dividend no. will still be deducted from no. the price. No, if you look at it, we are in a country where most of the people are living hand to mouth. So it matters to them. I don't know. Who and are you giving behind? Most of this Mala dividend will be declared no, in I April. think I'm in between. Because <laughs> in equity investment, if you, if you miss capital appreciation, don't miss dividend. Dividend is, is neither here nor there. They will still mark it down. They will deduct. Do, 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 do you know why it is there? From the price. You know why it is there? Because the moment dividend is declared, the price begins to appreciate. Sometimes appreciate faster than the dividend. That is, not ju that is mere emotional uh, interaction in the market. Because people are positioning to take part of the dividend declaration. Look, the dividend the declaration, US. even me that you don't want dividend, the price will eventually... But, but that is the way the market will do see, by the time we begin to go, is I will show you the effect of dividend on some of the stock. That if you don't pay to dividend, yes, there could be capital appreciation. I think it is not like that because the market is still at a, no. at baby level. No, no I, in the no, global no, market, it is not dividend no, that drives the, the price the, of everything. In the global market, most of the dividend yield you are talking 2 to 3%. Here we are talking of the dividend in some zero percent. You know, so here the double, uh, the double digit, ten percent, eleven percent, twelve percent for a, de a dividend yield that attract the market. Not only that one, majority of the major player are pension fund, and pension fund they don't pay with holding tax, so they get their dividend at full, and this attract them to hold their stock, not to sell, and enjoy their dividend because there is nothing like a holding tax to the pension fund. And again, dividend. they have the ability to hold for the long, even if the dividend is adjusted from the price. Most of they these companies, by the time they declare their first quarter result, it will override the mark down the dividend because is, their first quarter will be better than where they were before. That and is that why I said the market up. That is why I said this is the best platform when it comes to equity investment and analysis. We go to those that uh, were major gainers in the course of February. RT Briscoe, 286.36% for just one month. SEOA. They are sister companies, or let me say they are not sister company per se, but they operate in the same industry. 172.12%. Academy and Learn Africa. They operate in the same industry equally, 88.30% for academy price and 86.43% for Len Africa. Royal Exchange, Niger Insurance, still in the same industry. This market is speaking. Are we listening? 71.25% uh, growth for Royal Exchange, Niger Insurance, 50%. Niger Insurance, even company with negative earnings, and as a matter of fact, the shareholders fund is eroded. Okay, but Malam, I'm not bothered about what these companies have made. Okay, let me put the question to Aruna, except that I know that you are not an insurance uh, stock person. Go on, go on. <laughs> 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 I'm not bothered about what has happened in February anymore. It has yeah. come, it has gone. Those that were there, lucky. Okay, so what are the possibilities and what kind of source do you think I should consider in the month of March? If per adventure I could just be lucky to come out with 50% gain, 70% gain, 100% gain. Well, if you ask me, is those stocks that have gotten somewhere and due to profit taking they have relaxed? Like? I can tell you about fishing. I can tell you about Julius Baja. Uh, it's just that uh, Presco has gone back to the point. Presco got to 102.50. I would have added Presco. Uh, Fidelity got high. Uh, I came back to. Don't say, oh. If you want to hear more, call Aruna off camera. Malam, what are the secrets that? To me, uh, yeah. what happened in the month of February, it now make everybody to shine his eyes. Mm. How on earth 
expect a stock to gain 285% in a month. And believe me sincerely, I make it. Ha! Ah, but but you didn't look, tell me you are Joro Master. Look, the truth of the matter is that <laughs> when you see the rally, take out before the market is over. <laughs> By Friday, I dispose my RT Brisco as 19. No wonder you are part of the people beginning And today down. is 56 Kobo. Uh -huh. So what is it for? Get your money, play your part and leave for the rest. Most of the people that decided that is, to hold is it, it close as 63 yes, Kobo. Yes, but what we are saying that it can go further down. It happened to Japan. It happened it to will. many other, to FTM uh, Coco. So you will see this penny, penny stock surprising you. Look at Royal Exchange. Royal Exchange went to 1 Naira 65 Kobo. I call my prayer. I said, take your profit. This is the stock that is trading 20 Kobo air before. So why didn't you see the trend and learn from the trend and make money? Be a trader. Take your profit as when it is due before the party is over. And I believe the party is over. We the party is over. And what, what it will have, come what? back again. Okay, madam. You have not answered my question. No. All right. You enter at every school, you didn't tell me. That is scene number one. You told me the you didn't tell me anything. That is scene number two. Now, tell me. And those that are watching us, where do we put our money in February? You see, in my, 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 my advice, please take calculated risk. Calculated risk are those stocks Mala. that have done very well, mm -hmm. and yet they have not gone anywhere. One of them is Transcorp. Mm. I have no doubt over over Transcope. I've seen their performance up to the side. Quarter. Another one, another and one. We have seen fidelity. Fidelity. We have seen their performance very well. I'm writing them down. So, 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 uh, please. And you see Pixing, and you see Nahaku. All these companies, their performance shows tremendous improvement. Yet they have not declared their dividend. Why don't you hold into this stock? Mala, you are not talking and about you access. You are not talking good. about first bank. We have not seen their results. Too. Look, the truth of the matter that Access Bank has already paid interim dividend. Yeah. So whatever they are going to pay as a final dividend may pull less expectation of the investors, but it's a stock for the future. I have no doubt over it. You hold this stock, you will enjoy your final dividend now. By August, they will give you interim dividend. You are all the same level. So if you can hold it and it's a stock for the future, I have no doubt over it. All right, for those that might be interested uh, in knowing where to put their money, let me tell you this. Malam Aruna here, none of them is a witch. None of them is the Holy Spirit. All right? It is just mere uh, suggestion to you. Sometimes the market might move contrary to the expectation of anybody. Whatsoever they tell you is uh, just their sincere opinion. Don't come back tomorrow to say that Malam told you this and you didn't immediately make it too. Because if you do not make it in the short term, that does not mean that you cannot make it in the long term. We look at those equities that were um, uh, on the loser start in the month of February. As a matter of fact, the percentage of losses we're mild. If you look at it, 13.41% when we are talking about 286 in percentage gain. Uh, um, if you look at the company itself, Caverton, Julie, ABC. Let's just look at only, okay, we'll look at a few that I can say they are not supposed to be there going by my own um, judgment. Aruna, number one, ABC. People are complaining that the cost of flying is more now than before though that is being reversed shouldn't abc be moving because of this information because more people now we have no choice than to travel by road and when it comes to road transportation in nigeria abc is a leader it depends on where abc covers and where the flight abc covers, covers everywhere uh, where, uh, Abuja, Imo, where the, Imo, you know one of the things i come to discover no matter how high the cost of flight is because of uh, uh, insecurity. A number yeah. of people would like to cover that money and fly, just mm -hmm. like what happened. So it's not going to affect ABC? Uh, even if it does, I don't think it would be that tremendous. Okay, mm -hmm. let's leave ABC. Malam, Vitafum shouldn't be down. I think Vitafum uh, lost because of markdown the dividend of one naira 50 Kobo. Okay. But it's a stock that really changed the landscape. 
Madam, custodian investment is good. Very, very good. Why is there still that? Yes, it is where it is because most of the time these are the insurance company. I do not know a single insurance company that have got their account approved by the NICOM. And this is what we are telling the regulators. CBM have been up and doing. They have released many of the bank results and now we are seeing it. Why NICOM is holding it much? NACOM show as I said that most of the insurance company are quoted company and therefore they don't need more than a week to review it and release this information. If they do so, we we'll say well done for the market because the market is derived by the information. Alright, we've got to go on a short break when we return. We will be going to a uh, review of companies that released their auditor report to the market in the course of last week. Don't change this channel. <laughs> Hi girls. Hey. Hello Sheila. Come, come, come right in. We've been waiting. It's amazing in here, Martha. You've done so much for yourself. <laughs> Thank you so much, Sheila. Yeah. Did she tell you she'll be getting her doctorate degree in a couple of weeks? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Congratulations, girl. <laughs> Thank Woo. you. So, to more successes, girl. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Wow, it's amazing what you and your brothers have achieved in the past 15 years. That's why mom and dad being absent. All four of you are so stable and you've achieved so much. Thank you so much, girls. Life may have dealt us an unexpected blow early in our lives, but dad and mom set us on a safe path to where we are today. They secured our future with life insurance from African Alliance Insurance, PLC. We are not alone. All our life moments are kept unchecked with AAI. Oh, wow, yeah. this sounds so good, Amaka. Please, show us how. Of course. <laughs> Get life insurance from African Alliance Insurance PLC. There's a plan to suit you and your family's needs.